Hey, what's up YouTubers and Ghostbusters fans? Today I'm gonna to take apart this Ecto-1. So this is a Kenner Ecto-1. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of restoration work on it, um, cleaning it and trying to whiten it up a little bit. And I also have uh, a cracked frame right here, so I'm gonna to have to glue that back in. So it's not terribly difficult to take apart. It's Pretty much just screws. I think the, the hardest part about it is in the back here uh, to separate the top of the body from the bottom from the chassis. It tends to get stuck back here a little bit. So we'll see uh, what I can do without causing too much damage. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna take the seat off first. And unfortunately the seat is missing the seat belt that broke. So I bought this used um, for 40 or 50 bucks, something like that, right? It came with a seat, so at least I have the seat, but the seat belt is broken. I'm gonna try to figure something out. Maybe I'll get a little bit of like a leather strap and uh, glue it on there or something. I'll figure something out. Anyway, so there's that. Um, so the doors, you could just pop them out, but I don't really like, you know, maybe with this one. I don't wanna break the, Okay, um, the little studs right here. All right, so, um, so it did just pop out, but you could also unscrew the chassis because the bottom stud is attached to the bottom of the car. So once you take the chassis off, the store will pretty much just fall right off. So I got the other door now. Same thing. Okay, didn't didn't break this one either. Great. Now, the little wings right here, they may... Nah, I'm gonna do that a little bit later. Because on the inside of the body, um, there are a couple of plastic tabs, and I think if you squeeze those together, these will pop out a lot easier. Okay, so now I got the rear gate here, and it will also just pop out. And there you go, it's out. Now comes the screws. So there's only a ooh, is one, two. So you have one, two. There's a third one here. And I just noticed there's like a little spider web in there or egg or something. Nasty. Right. You go. I'm gonna take off these guys first. There's three, and they're all the same size, so I don't really need to separate them or label them. They're all the same. So now, it's coming apart. So what's holding it on is here in the back. So it's a little tricky sometimes. And it's already broken. It was already broken before when I bought it. I just noticed that, actually. So I don't want to put too much stress on this thing. And now it looks like the the right side of the car, the passenger side, is the one that's holding it a little tighter. All right, let's see what we can do there. Let's try not to break it. Look like it's cool. the that just fell right out the dashboard of the steering wheel 
Okay, so the right side just could sort of pop out pretty easy here. So it is the left, and that's the one I found has to be the most difficult. Kind of wants to come out, but I need some force here. I'm trying not to break anything. Notoriously difficult piece right here on this area to detach. Okay, so I'm going to get a um, a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to try to pry it and pop it off there. So, be right back. Easy way to do that. As long as with the screwdriver, I may also um, damage the plastic. Ah, okay. There you go. I didn't need a screwdriver after all. It was just kind of a matter of, it seemed like twisting it inwards uh, was kind of the key there. So it did pop out without any screwdrivers. And I didn't cause any damage to the body. So, I'm going to have to glue this here. All right now, the, the windows, the plastic windows, also have two screws in here. I'll take those off now. same screw as the other three. Okay. There's that. Now this pops right out. Now with the little wings right here, you have these tabs. So basically, one goes one way, the other goes the other. So they're clinging on to the edges of the plastic here on the white body. And you got one, uh, two tabs in the front and two in the rear here. Just kind of fidgeting around with those. And all that cracking probably here, um, just the broken frame right here. This is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so that's the rears coming out. Do the front now. Okay, so um, aside from this damage here, the rest of the body is in pretty good condition. It's not 
all that yellow either, but I'm gonna try to make it a little bit brighter. Okay, so I'm almost done. Almost. And then I'm gonna take the seat out. And this thing just pops out, there's no screws. It's held to, in, in place right here. So these are some that you can just move forward. The wheels uh, don't really come off that easily anyway. I'm just going to leave those. There's no reason to take those off. Yeah. Nope, don't need to. Alright. So the dash is also not really all that discolored or yellowed. I have another one that's pretty bad. Like the whole dash is gray on top now, and the body is pretty well yellow. So, um, I guess what this door here is from. See, see this door? And you have this door. Probably tell the difference. This is from the other car. So, what I'm going to do now, well, eventually, I'm going to take the stickers off. This one too. I'll order some new ones. And once I have all that, and I soak this in some soap solution um, to hopefully get it bright white again, I'll put it back together. Alright, so that's it for now. Hope it helped. See ya.